Oh. All right, guys, so let me tell you what I'm doing. I'm doing two body parts a day. I'm doing a three-day split. So every day, we're gonna do three exercises per body part. What does that mean? That means three exercises of delts, then we go into three exercises of biceps and triceps. So listen up, we're starting with the seated barbell shoulder press because I believe that this is the mass gaining portion of the shoulder workout. So we're gonna start with this movement since we're fresh, we have the most energy, and we have the most strength, frankly. Damn, that feels good. Exercise number two, shoulder side laterals. Very, very important movement, not only for your medial delt, but to create that V-taper illusion. So it's not always about having the smallest waist. Sometimes it's about making your shoulder width that much more extreme and just getting as wide as possible to create that illusion of having a V-taper. Ah. Oh. Ah. If it jiggles, it's fat. If it jiggles, it's fat. <laughs> Arnold said that, bro. Oh. I mentioned how the shoulder side lateral is one of the best things to do for your delts. And that could be a little discouraging to the beginners because the first time I stepped foot in the gym, I could barely um, side lateral 10 pounds. So form was very bad, but you gotta keep consistent and eventually you'll get up to the 40s, 50s, and even 60s. All right, here's a new one for you guys out there. You need to grab a gym buddy for the last set. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my heavy set of 45s for 10 reps. After that, I'm gonna have my partner give me added resistance just using his arms. Check it out. That doesn't look like much, guys, but I promise you, I'm making it look a lot easier than it is. Give it a try. So we got our delts looking like a little striated pumpkin right now. So we want an even more striated pumpkin look. We're gonna do a superset of straight bar upright rows, superseted with some dumbbell reverse flies that we're gonna bend over. I'm gonna show you how. So the rear delt is such a small muscle. You only need about 12, 15, 20 pounds to activate them. And this upright row gets such a bad rep, especially when I'm in the YouTube comment section. Everyone has a bad rep for this exercise, saying get hurt, you can have shoulder impingement. Let me remind you something, that every exercise is dangerous if done incorrectly. And every workout or exercise is effective if done properly. Keep that in mind. Uh, 
Now, if you guys out there are gonna be watching this thinking about, yeah, Sadiq, you're doing three movements, but I didn't see any front delt activation or front delt exercises. So the reason is bodybuilding is such an individual sport that you really have to use the mirror and assess where you're at. My front delts are very developed already, so I try to just target the medial and the rear. Rather than keep on hitting my fronts, try to create that balanced proportion look. We're gonna start our arm part of this workout the same way as we did shoulders. We went with the free weight, heavy shoulder press. This is similar to a heavy shoulder press for the biceps. So we're going for the mass gaining portion of the arm workout. We're doing easy bar curls. So before all you trolls chime in, yes, I am curling the squat rack and I don't give a flying <laughs> So we're gonna load up the bar now with 45 pounds, which is heavy. And now I'm gonna do some cheat reps, okay? You might see some guys in the comments saying, hey man, you know, it's way too heavy for you, using too much momentum, but some cheat reps could be good because cheat reps could help push you and in fact, you can actually gain some muscle doing a few reps where you're cheating, opposed to never doing them at all. One thing I always tell my training partner is, I always point at myself at how much I sweat and how little he sweats. And I say it's because he's not lifting heavy enough. Notice once you start touching the heavy iron, yes, I said it, the heavy iron, a lot of you guys forgot about heavy iron. Once you start touching it, you're gonna see you're gonna start sweating profusely. Just demands so much more on your body than machines or cables. What we're doing is we're moving to our triceps because the triceps actually make up a majority of the arm. If you want bigger arms, chill out with all the bicep and all the curls. Start focusing more on the meaty part of your arm, which is the tricep. We're going dumbbell overhead extensions. Now, if your gym is fortunate enough to have one of these old school iron Ivanko plates, the best thing about this plate is that you actually have holes in here that I actually incorporate and use it into my tricep training. Um, for some reason, it just hits the tricep so much better. So what you're gonna do with your hand is put them in these middle holes and let's go for higher reps, anywhere between 15, 20, 25 to burn out at the end. But I'm not keeping the plate vertical. At the top of the movement, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flatten out the plate and make it horizontal. Five pounds is gonna be, feel like 140. Single arm concentration dumbbell curl, but I really started doing this because my boy Shabir in the gym. I'm always learning from different people. Um, you know, of course, I learned from the Jay Cutlers and the Ronnie Coleman's, but I'm also learning from people in my local gyms. So, shout out to Shabir on this one. Two things to focus on here is number one, ball up and squeeze the hell out of bicep at the peak of the movement. And at the bottom, you wanna make sure you fully stretch, keeping the traction the whole time before exploding back up.
last movement for arms, guys. We're doing another superset. I mentioned how the triceps are the more important part of the arm. So we're gonna do cable push downs, supersetted with dips. Now, not a lot of gyms have this particular machine for your triceps. Typical bench, uh, bench bar is good, or even using a bench press, they both work the same. Just make sure you're getting that full range of motion, stretching all the way down, stretching out that tricep. Guys, that is it. That concludes our shoulders and arms workout. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And if you want more crazy content, check out my channel. Click the link in the description below.